But also when we start to talk about what can I do about it? How can I train my prefrontal cortex? How can I get my hippocampus to rewire and re-educate on these memories? Understanding that is going to be one of the big keys. Um, I think at, as we dive into all of this, especially in terms of like hippocampal development, we want to look a little bit at the differences between CPTS and PTSD. Um, just to kind of keep parceling these apart, apart because they can overlap, certainly. Um, like Jen was talking about, I have PTSD from some acute incidences, and I also have complex trauma from more prolonged stress. And it does impact our, our brain development and our nervous system differently. So when we're talking about PTSD, that's usually something that's triggered by experiencing or witnessing a singular traumatic event, like a natural disaster, an accident, an assault, maybe a combat event. And the hallmark of PTSD is that the trauma is typically acute. It's one or a few discrete incidences, and the nervous system's response becomes stuck in a hypervigilant or dysregulated state around that event. So you can have intrusive memories or flashbacks of that particular event. You can avoid reminders or triggers associated with that trauma. You might become hypervigilant or have an exaggerated startle response. There's some emotional numbness that comes with that sleep disturbances. Um, these symptoms or outputs definitely overlap with complex trauma, but complex trauma is usually referring to chronic exposure to trauma. It's occurring over an extended period of time, 